Hey you guys, back again with another video. I'm doing this video because I thought I was recording myself make my um version of Popeye's um red beans and rice. I I mean, I had it on a tripod and everything and I saw the numbers moving. But for some reason, I couldn't play back the video. So this is my version of red beans and rice. Hopefully, I will do, well, not red beans. It's just the red beans, but the rice is over here. So, this is the, you know, and I had it plated nice and everything. I had a cute thumbnail and everything. So, I had the rice sitting in a, nut, in a, in a little bowl. Hold on, let me show y'all. So, I had it in here like this. So, I filled it up mostly with the beans and I added a little bit of rice to it. Hopefully, I'll do another video making it, you know, but I'm not making it, you know, no no time soon. But I just wanted to show y'all that I actually made the video. It was like a 25-minute video. I had it sitting on my tripod with the um, ring light and everything. I saw the numbers moving, but I didn't even think to, you know. But anywho, I guess if it takes, I don't know. But yeah, this, so I made, this is my version of... You know, Popeye's red beans, and um, over here is the rice. You know, like I said. So, oh my gosh. So let me tell y'all what's in here. So, and I, I, and I let it boil down. So like a nice. I'm not gonna say gravy, but broth is it? I don't know. So I did two cans of the. Goya kidney beans, two cans of that, and um, I use uh, I filled up I filled up both cans with water and I put it into this um, pot here. First, I mash one can of the beans. So I pour one can I mat of the kidney beans with the liquid and everything, and I mashed it, and then I add the other can and I didn't mash that, you know. And then I add two cans of water to it. And then I add some um, onion powder, garlic powder, liquid smoke, and what else? Uh, Creole seasoning, salt. I add that to And I, I added some bacon, four strips of bacon, and bacon grease to it. And I let it cook for like to cook cook down like this so that was like about 30 minutes so yeah and i put i put it in this bowl right here look this so cute so yeah i just wanted to tell y'all that i i did attempt to make the rice i mean the the red beans and rice my version but um yeah so hopefully i'll do another video i don't know when this video is gonna <clears throat> be posted but um, I hope it's recording this time because if it's not, screw it. But yeah, so I put it in one of these little cute little bowls here, and I had it with some air fried chicken and I and the, um the um homemade ranch dressing I made. Yes, I made another batch of the of the dressing, and I even doubled the recipe because that thing is good, and it'll go good on salad too. I just haven't gotten to making the get the salad and using it yet but i know it's gonna be good but yeah so this is my version of popeye's red beans i think you can use pink beans too i use red kidney beans you probably can use dark kidney beans too red dark red kidney beans too but i use this and i feel like it's something else i used oh and i cut up some onions in here too so it's like four strips of bacon in here um diced up um, and there's onions in here. You don't have to add onions, but I did. So, yeah. Even though I got onion powder in there. So, yeah. See that? That's the bacon right there. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I haven't made this in a long time. And this was my, I think this was my first time making it this year. But, yeah. Hopefully, I will make a video showing y'all, you know, step by step. And then this time I'm going to actually bake the bacon first. Because it took 30 minutes to bake bacon that normally, that normally would take 
9 to 12 minutes for me. But next time I make that, I'm going to have everything done. Besides the beans, of course, the rice. But in the video that I did re thought I re was recording, I had the rice already made. So I didn't make that in the video. But yeah, so yeah. Two cups of rice, four cups of water. You know, I put a little what teaspoon of salt and I uh and olive oil. That's it. Just enough olive oil to cover the coat the whole the coat coat all the rice. And then you add your four cups of water. And I let it boil like that. Some what some people do is that they let they don't add the olive oil. Well this this video is not doing it justice. I mean, when I look at the camera, it don't look like it got olive oil on it. But I look oh, out, you know, on the side, directly at the camera. I mean, directly at the rice. It looks like it's glycerin, but the camera is not. Oh, there it is. There it is. But anywho, yes. For me, onions, for me, rice was trial and error. You know, I used to make rice and it used to be not done in the middle. I'd be like, what? Yeah, so. Yeah. So my husband actually taught me how to make rice, but I perfected my way. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's bacon in there. If you don't want bacon, you don't have to add bacon. It's optional, but I use bacon because I wanted bacon. I wanted to, mmm. You could probably use ground turkey or I don't know, but I'm just saying what I use. But anywho. Should I plate it up again to show y'all? Or y'all just have to wait for the next video? I don't know when y'all going to see this video. Because I pre-record all my videos. and the, You know? So, yeah. Look at that. That is, looks so good. Next time, I'm just going to put more rice. Well, I put beans in first. And I topped it off with a, like maybe like two scoops of this spoon. Right on top of the beans. So you fill this up. You know, you fill it up halfway with beans. And then you take like um, maybe um, maybe two spoons of the scoops of this with the rice. Heaping spoons. Well, not two, but one heaping. And you sit it on top with the beans. And that looks so good, y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm going to let y'all go. I'm really, I'm pretty, I'm really upset because... I really wanted y'all to see that video, but I can always make this again. So the good thing about this, I can always do this again. And now I know what not to do. When I do my bacon, I'm going to line it on a baking sheet with foil and I'm going to let it bake like that. I'm not going to use that silicone because that silicone made it cook, take so long to cook. Took like 30 minutes for, for four strips to cook. That's unbelievable. And the brand that I use is Sugardale Hickory Smoked Bacon. Those, and they not thick bacon. They like regular thin strip bacon or medium size in between. But they not thick, thick. They not really thick. It normally take nine to 12 minutes for them things to cook. You know, Smithdale takes longer to cook. Smithfields take longer to cook. Um, you know, so, yeah. Maybe I'll put the thumbnail. I'll use the thumbnail for this to show y'all how I did it. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you care. Ooh, I'm distraught. All that work I put in to make this video and to come to find out it did not play oh you know what i noticed too when i hit record it took a while to start recording oh i just noticed that so all this time i saw the numbers moving the red light on and it was not even recording all right y'all see y'all in the next video bye